Hey everyone, Joe Oriema here with a familiar face, Johnny Damon, World Series hero. Johnny, before we get into anything else, I want to talk about the 2009 season with the Yanks. What did that season mean to you, and what was that World Series win like? Oh, it, it was incredible. Anytime you could uh, call yourself champions after the season, it's something special. And I'm glad that um, it finally happened. You know, it took four years of uh, my time in New York for it to happen, but um, be better late than ne um, never. And, uh, you know, we got a few other guys, their uh, fifth championship. So I, I think that's pretty special. Now, Johnny, uh, you know, it seemed that after the season you were going to come back to New York. Things just broke down. Just what happened this off season? Uh, you know, I'm not too sure. I, uh, what I hear is there was a lack of communication. Um, and, um, you know, uh, uh, nothing really coming from our part. You know, we just, uh, um, you know, Scott and I were just waiting um, to try to talk to them after they signed Pettit, they, they just never materialized. But, you know, I, I think they kind of had their mind made up um, probably during the last season. They they made their mind made up to uh, try to get younger. And, you know, that, I'm okay with that. You know, I, I still have a lot of good baseball left in me. And But, you know, we left on uh, good terms. You know, I've had conversations with Cashman, and, um, you know, it just wasn't going to happen. So uh, now, now I'm here in a... Uh, with another great organization. Uh, I've been fitting in nicely so far, and hopefully we can go out there and surprise a bunch of people. Now, after that World Series win, for what you contributed and for what Hideki contributed, are you a little surprised that neither one of you is back? Um, I, you know, nothing surprises me in this game anymore. Um, you know, there's going to be new faces in new places every single year. Um, you know, this is my fifth team now with the Tigers, and so, um, you know, unfortunately I... Um, wasn't put in a situation where I could be a franchise player, say like a Jeter who can spend his entire career with the team or right. Mariano. But, you know, I've, I, I've come to accept that. And now I'm on team number five. Hopefully team number five could be it. You know, I'm <laughs> running out of spaces on my uh, wall uh, with all the team's jerseys. But, um, you know, I just want to keep playing baseball. And I feel like I could uh, help inspire a bunch of the uh, young guys coming up. We have a young team here, and I think we have a chance to win. You know, uh, we're expecting big things from our veterans, but uh, if we can pitch, I think we'll be just fine. How is it playing for Jim Leland? I mean, he's such a an old school manager. How has it been so far? Oh, it's been great. Uh, you know, when I, I talked to him before I signed with the Tigers, uh, just listening to him talk, and when I got off the phone, it was kind of a wow factor. Um, you know, my wife doesn't know much about baseball, but she was wondering why I was saying wow um, when I got off the phone. And so I told her, and she's like, okay. <laughs> but, uh, but no, Jim Leland is one of a kind. Um, I, you know, I'm enjoying this so far. Spring training has been great. Um, he treats everybody fairly. Um, and, you know, that, that's all you can ask for a manager. And uh, we're looking forward to um, hopefully winning a whole bunch of games for him this year. Was the lore signing with the Tigers just about a, a, a team that has a chance to win and being so young? And, you know, it's they were just in the World Series a couple years back. Were those things that kind of weighed in on you signing with them? Uh, oh, absolutely. I, I knew this team missed the playoffs by a game last year. I knew this is a young team. And any time a veteran player like myself could um, um, be on a team with a bunch of young guys, it makes me feel younger. It makes me uh, get that energy and that life back so uh that enticed me but i feel like this team has a chance to win the fact that they're 45 minutes from my home also played a huge factor because i i get to pick the kids up from school um every day so i'm i'm happy about it it made uh, too much sense for us not to sign with the tigers just a couple more questions you won a championship with new york and boston which one was sweeter for you? Um, it, 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 <laughs> I had to ask. Well, well, that that one's real tough. Yeah. I mean, uh, obviously winning in Boston after an 86-year drought and a bunch of misery, um, that ended up being very special. But, you know, when you get to the tail end of your career, um, anytime you can say you're a champion, it, it's special. So I'm glad I got to win with some of the – best players who ever put on a uniform and uh, put and with the pinstripes you know uh, number 27 with the pinstripes so so that was definitely very special
Now, there's a lot of Yankee fans out there that still, you know, they love Johnny Damon. They love what you brought to the table every night and, and the hard work and effort that you put into being a Yankee. And those fans stuck by you through thick and thin. Do you have anything to say to those those fans in the Bronx that, you know, when you get back there, they're going to give you, you know, a nice cheer? Well, well, thank you for the uh, four wonderful years. I mean, I... Um I really did try. You know, I was constantly on the phone um, trying to uh, see if something could work out. Sorry it didn't happen. I know you guys still have a great team and you're going to still root for your Yankees. Uh, but, uh, you know, I'm going to go out and keep playing baseball hard. So hopefully, uh, hopefully we can uh, meet up sometime in the postseason, hopefully this year. <laughs> All right. Well, that's Johnny Damon. I'm Joe Oriema. Keep coming back to YesNetwork.com for all of your Yankees needs.